Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Bluebeam, we're gonna take a look at the markup list. So the markup list basically gives you all the columns and all the annotation that you're adding to your PDF. And it's gonna collect all of them in one location and you can export it. You can basically use this process uh, for your punch list, to any review, to track issues and so forth. So let's jump into Bluebeam. We can kind of review this whole list of markups. In today's session, learning Bluebeam, I want to show you how to navigate through markups. Also, I want to show you how can you leverage the tools that you have at your disposal to apply it to your workflow on your job site. As you can see, there is a sheet, a uh, few markups on it. So the first step would be where I can see this markups. If you can look at these three dots markups, you can double click on or click on it. It's going to open up a box for you. Um, you can see some of the notes right there with the color and all of this, some, some, some columns that you can apply. Also, you have the search, you have the filter, and you have these summary export. So you're gonna go through all of them one by one. So the first thing that you wanna know, you wanna basically uh, customize your columns. So let's say I wanna create a punch list for all of these items. So if I go on the column, it basically gives me a manage column. So when I click on the manage column, it's going to open up a box for me that has a lot of options. It's like 30 of them. You can use these uh, pre-defined uh, items or you can create your own. So to start, I want to have page label status, color, space, and I want to get rid of all of the other ones. I don't know any of other these. And I'm going to hit OK. So as soon as I hit that, you can see I have the page label which basically it's all of these items right there. I have the color because I created all of them in red and I have the space because I created a space for any of these area to show the area that I have. And there is gonna uh, another video I have on creating spaces. I would encourage you guys to take a look at it and understand the process and how to do it. So that's the first step that we wanna basically clean up our columns and export for so the next one is basically just the markup right here. So you can import markups if you have from different drawings and also you can export these actual markups uh, out. The next one is going to be the capture of the columns. So we're going to go through this and show you how to capture a summary. And also you can export the captured media. So basically you can export it to a different media. And right here you have the summary is going to export the log not the column just the log basically the sheets the everything with you and it has a specific settings we're gonna go over it you also can see the filter list right here so as soon as you click on the filter list you'll be able to kind of filter all the items per like a location if there's gonna be a different color that we're gonna create some you'll be able to do it and also if there's gonna be a different status you can filter and this is your search so if you are looking for a specific location or a specific node you can type it over here and you'll be able to see it so let's start with our column so first I want to go here to uh, manage columns I know that it's gonna be like the custom columns that I show you so this is a great tool that you guys can add any type of columns that you want when you click on it, it's going to give you a different type. You can create a check mark. The check mark is going to be checked unchecked. You can create a choice. You can put all of your choice right here. Uh, you can create a date. So that column shows the date and you can create a format. Uh, even if you have a formula, you can create a formula over here. Let's say if you want to do a takeoff, you want to do this area times this cost is going to be the total cost. You can basically create that one as well using these added column. If there's going to be a number and also a simple test. So you have everything right here to create any type of columns to uh, that you want if you want to do a takeoff if you want to do a punch list you can kind of use this different type uh, format to create a column that you want so this is in terms of the columns uh, as soon as 
uh, click creating one I'm right happy with the number of my columns so I want to go to the status so I want to create a status for myself so you can see there is gonna be a managed status I'm gonna create on it I click on it there's gonna be some predefined but I want to create my own let's say I want to create punch list so okay so I'm creating a punch list right now I want to create a status so let's say the first one I want to name it completed also you can create a uh, pick a color and I'll show you why this is important uh, next one I want to put let's say probably rejected and then let's just say rejected with red next one let's just put pending design I want to select the color for it um, let's just do blue for this one and the last one I want to put in progress let's just do yellow um, you can add you know as many status as you want and also if you want to basically uh, define or modify something you can go back on it you can add modify and you can add more text more explanation on it or you want to change the name you can do that also if you select something as a default so as soon as you click on the status it's gonna stamp it with that so I'm not gonna select anything right now but if you guys want to have something as default right there you'll be able to do it so for the default I'm, I'm basically selecting my models for the punch list and the reason for it is so let's say I want to know I want to click on this one so as soon as I click on this item you can see it's going to be highlighted on my sheet I know where it's going to be so let's say this is my punch list uh, the node is replaced so I don't know okay so that's done I can click here and it's going to open up uh, the basically the items for me so I'm gonna say this one is complete so as soon as I click on it right now you just turn it into green and also change the color here so I know that this is done so the next one that I'm gonna double check on it's gonna be this note and you guys can notice there's gonna be a different type of icon that you select for your markup everything here so some of them is a, a cloud call some of them is just a, just a regular call and you can see the difference over here so this one let's say I want to say okay punch list this one rejected I leave it blue next one is gonna select this item I want to say punch list pending design changing the color so I'm moving to a different note so right here basically I want to do a punch list in progress it's gonna turn it into yellow so you guys can basically see as I double click on all of this you know and just kind of going down the list all of those is going to be selected and you can do different way you can select it here is going to basically show at this area so I'm going to do punch um, let's say complete I'm going to select this one and then let's just do in progress so as you guys can see this is what I want to show you so you can clear a color code a punch list with these little settings and you can add as many columns you can put you know who's the responsible trade what is the day that was done what is the due date that's supposed to be done so you can add all of these columns as I mentioned there's gonna be some columns over here that you can select right and some of them that um, you basically you, you want to do this let's say you want to put the author it's gonna show up here and also if you don't want to have it you can kind of uncheck it to take it away so make sure you kind of have this okay so here I want to show you the difference between the two type of export um, as I mentioned if I come here and then do the markup and it says export markup it doesn't export all of this it basically only exporting these markup in a white sheet so there's nothing there's not going to be anything else uh, as you can see these set of drawings that I have is like six pages and I only have markups on page two so if I do the markup it should show me nothing on other pages only page two just a markup nothing else so I want to show you what I mean by that so let me just do export uh, let me just go to my desktop and then just put test and then save and then when I open up the test so you can see I already have six pages 
there is no other information here just the color and the markups and all happening on page two because if you look at this the original one I have it on page two so just keep the markups on page two and there's nothing else I don't know what is the kind of usage for this process but I've never used it and it's kind of weird that we have it over here you cannot export anything but I'm assuming if you have a specific markup that you created and you only want to send out the markup in some specific situation I think that's gonna be the way for you so you don't have to delete anything you don't have to move anything you just basically export a markup uh, but what we want to do we want to go here basically to summary I want to you can export as a CSV XML and PDF let's just select PDF you have three columns right there so first of all it's gonna tell you okay what pages you want to do all of them or you only do the current page I want to do the current page also you have the columns. so if you're not happy with some of the columns you can check uncheck the columns remove them you can go to the file and sort and then that's gonna be based on the column so I have four columns available so I have four lots that I can sort or filter so one of them is the page labels the other one is kind of the status what do you want to only send out so I'm assuming if you're doing a punch list bunch of stuff is completed you only want to send out the in progress and pending one or rejected one right and that's gonna be a space like a, exactly what areas you want to send out and then the main one is the output so you want to do the PDF you want to create a hyperlink in front of each, each one so you can come back to it um, this is gonna be the title if you want to change the name if you have any template in your company you can basically import that template in and use it so it's gonna break the page based on the page label if you want to change it you can change to like a space so it's gonna create a cover sheet you're gonna have the space and it's gonna create another one but I'm just gonna stick to page label uh, the style is gonna be flow or is going to be kind of the tabular It's going to give you a table one by one and this is the show of the thumbnail like how it's going to give you small snapshot let's just pick media so I'm going to tell them include 25 uh, basically uh, 25 padding like the difference between those and then I think I'm happy with all of them so let's say okay it's going to take um, just a bit because I have like a 16 different items here so you can see right now how it kind of create all of that is going to give the name uh, basically starting right here for all the colors this one is pending it's going to tell everything over there with the space with the like a location of it with the label it basically shows you a little bit of the snapshot what is that location look like if you have a space and the name of it so it's a really really good uh, kind of report that you can create and share with Hope that you like this uh, video. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.